So who takes care of you? I do. <laughs> Anybody else? She most likely had plenty of good men willing to help her out. She either picked the bad ones or was way too picky. And now she is reaping the seed she spent sowing. Modern society, in its constant drive for progressive thinking, often seems to forget the age-old principle. Actions come with consequences. This brief yet evocative clip of a single mother is a piercing reminder of that truth. When she's asked, who takes care of you? And she looks at the camera with a pained expression, murmuring, I do. Before breaking into tears, it paints a vivid picture of the hard reality many face. While society at large is increasingly championing the idea that everyone can have it all without bearing the repercussions, life begs to differ. Making choices, especially ones that lead to becoming a single parent, requires enormous resilience, sacrifice, and strength. It's not about being a martyr or wanting applause for one's struggles. It's about understanding and acknowledging that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Where were the precautions, the considerations, the thought of what it might mean to go it alone? It's crucial to understand that life isn't a fairy tale where everything magically falls into place. Sure, everyone has the right to their choices, but they also have the responsibility to face the outcomes of those choices, whether sweet or bitter. Her tears might evoke sympathy from many, but one must pause and reflect. Were those tears preventable? Were there choices that could have been made differently? It's not about judgment, but about recognizing that in life, you can't sidestep the outcomes of your actions. Perhaps, if more people recognize this, there would be fewer such tearful admissions to begin with. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. Embrace your masculinity. Why do single moms feel entitled to the best men? I mean, once they destroy their exes during a divorce, suddenly the need for a new man who will take care of them and their children creeps in. You guessed it, the strong and independent women she believed she was is nothing but a lie. The ex-husband was, in reality, a good dude, but he ain't talking back to a woman who exploited him financially before, during, and after the marriage. The holy matrimony idea is nothing but a thing of the past, especially now that women are incentivized to leave the man at any given time for whatever reason they deem acceptable. The guy can become unemployed, get injured, or sick, doesn't matter. Any of the reasons is enough to go out there and get a new man while keeping a man back home to give her financial and emotional support. And once she gets a new man and divorces the quote unquote abusive husband, the new man is the dad, the uncle, and whatever the woman feels entitled to. Thank you, but no thank you. My thing I really think that people need to know even with dating people with children mm -hmm. is the misconception that you're gonna be the father. Like, I think a lot of people think, oh, when oh. you're dating me, yeah, now yeah, you're yes. my child's father. Like, I mm -hmm. want you to play the yeah, role yeah, of yeah. dad yeah. to my daughter. Yeah, and I think that good. a lot of people feel that pressure. Like, I don't wanna go into this dating dynamic because now I feel like I'm gonna be, either you're gonna play mom mm -hmm. or I'm gonna play, you're gonna play yeah. dad. And I, I think that's one thing I want to make sure we say is like, There's no, levels to this. Yeah. You, you more like an yeah. uncle. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You like, yeah. like an uncle that called. You like the cool uncle that called her every once in a while. She got a daddy. Yeah. All right. In today's video, guys, we're delving into the dangers of dating single moms, why 99.9% .9 of men avoid them at all costs, and the shocking reason why the single mother household is promoted and even romanticized. Yes guys, she is dancing and trying to flex for being an adult. You literally cannot make this up. 
What's funny is how she had the caption, men that don't date single moms just can't handle a bad B. Hmm, okay then. You are coping, coping and seething. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seething. The truth it is scalding and now you are molding and coping. Coping so hard. It's damn obvious that most men don't want to date single moms. Only a minority is bold enough to take that risk and become an ATM, I mean, provider and protector of a kid that is not theirs and their mother. Your ancestors fought against animals and endured extreme weather and other tribulations to make sure you live now, so they wouldn't like to see you raise another man's kid. Simple biology, nothing personal. Let's check some reasons why men don't want to date single moms, or if at all, only want to have sex with them. The first reason is the desire for a simpler or less complicated relationship. Most men prioritize simplicity and minimal responsibilities in their lives. They know that dating a single mom introduces additional layers of complexity and obligations that they prefer to avoid or are not prepared to handle. When dating a single mom, some unique considerations and challenges may arise. These can include scheduling conflicts due to the child's activities or custody arrangements, the need for flexibility and understanding when plans change, and the potential involvement of the child's other parent in the family dynamic, aka the baby daddy drama. Most men view these complexities as potential sources of stress, turnoff, or complications that they prefer to avoid in a romantic relationship. Imagine having to deal with a situation like this. Listen. I'm not listening to shit. I just want to see my son, bro. Man, I just want to see my son. You can't. Listen, you bitter because we moved on. That shit wasn't working. I'm just here to see my son, please. I'm here to see my son. You know, you know, you know he need his father in his life, don't you? He don't need no motherfucking daddy. I'm his motherfucking daddy. You is a woman. I'm his motherfucking daddy, girl. What is wrong with you? That is my child. Where's my money? Prime example why kids grow up thinking they've had deadbeat fathers when the real deadbeat is the bitter mother. She said to him that the son doesn't need a dad, that she's the dad. When will these women realize that it takes a man slash father to raise little boys to become real men? Additionally, dating a single mom often requires a higher level of commitment and involvement. Men who desire a more casual or low-key dating experience are flat out a childless woman feel that the responsibilities and expectations associated with being involved in a child's life are more than they are willing or able to take on, at least for someone who's not their kid. The second reason is, well, the correlation between single mother households and crime. In other words, getting involved in that kind of situation when you can go get a woman with no kids and preferably no baggage is a very bad choice. To back this up, many studies have been conducted, so let me show you one. The article is titled, Children in Single Parent Families Are More Likely to Engage in Crime. I quote, Children who grow up in a single parent family are at greater risk of committing a crime. Behavioral scientist Janique Croes has found in a study based on microdata into the effects on children of being raised by a single parent. After endless poring through codes and making elaborate calculations, it was a eureka moment when the results finally emerged. What did you discover? For my PhD thesis, I studied the relationship between single parent families and criminality. The results clearly show that children who grow up in a single parent family have an increased chance of committing crime. Single parent families can be divided into three categories. Those created as a result of divorce, those resulting from the death of one of the parents, and those where the child has been raised from birth by a single person. 
The effect on the child's behavior is different in each of the three categories. For example, we found that the risk of a child turning to crime increases immediately after a divorce, but decreases prior to the death of a parent. As you guys can see, it's not Mr. Nobody who has done all this extensive research. It's a woman, yes, you heard that right, a woman, who is an assistant professor at the Department of Criminal Law and Criminology of some university in Amsterdam. And she is also affiliated with the Netherlands Institute for the Study of Crime and Law Enforcement. But we do know that single fathers do a better job at raising children than single mothers do. As far as like, you know, kids not being degenerates. <laughs> Where'd you get that oh, who, information? Who, who, who put, who What's the resource? There was a study done where they compared single mothers to single fathers. The studies show that if a father is in a house versus a mother, right, is a primary care caretaker, that child is far less likely of being a criminal, a degenerate, a single mother, a drug addict, etc. We have a bunch of data that shows now that most people that are fuck ups in life, alcohol, drug use, or whatever it may be, come from single mother households. Every school shooter in the United States, except for I think one or two, came from a single mother household. 52% of black children in America live with out both parents in a household what would you say is most responsible for this the choice that so many women are making to choose the government as their husband instead of a black man explain first of course is a choice to have a child that's one thing but then it turns into somewhat of a trend or survival need, which is, yo, it's, it's hard out here, so I need something. And then they, you know, use the government to pay their bills. And other women look at, I, and, and this is a real thing, women literally look at other women and say, hey, girl, like, did you know if you have a baby, you can get the government assistance it, and happen. all these other things? Okay, and they literally talk people. other women into this to, to say, yo, forget these men. Okay, but you're and then wrong. Boom. And look, these last two clips might refer to the US, but the study was conducted by a Dutch woman in the Netherlands. This single mother household thing does not happen only in America. So no wonder why men avoid single moms. It's nothing against single moms per se, but rather a wise choice because getting ripped off or hurt by a chick with lots of unresolved issues is not cool. Speaking of which, let's move on to the third reason why men avoid single moms at all costs. I'm talking about a single mom's finances and emotional baggage, which only some simps are willing to deal with. When you're when you're a single mother and you get married, you get all the benefits. And he had so so it's like we we get bailed out of a bad decision. Like you made a poor choice and instead of taking your bed and lying in it, you get bailed out by some sin. When it comes to dating a single mom, financial considerations can play a significant role in a man's decision-making process. 99.9% .9 of men have concerns about the financial responsibilities that come with dating a single mom, particularly if they anticipate potential obligations to support the child. As a man, all your hard-earned money is not a thing you should give for free, so most men are not willing to invest not only into a child that is not theirs, but a woman who, for the most part, has made or still makes bad decisions. Raising a child can be expensive, and the financial burden is often shouldered primarily by the single parent. Men who are hesitant about dating single moms may worry about the potential impact on their own financial stability. They question whether they are prepared to contribute to the financial needs of the child, such as education, health care, extracurricular activities, and other expenses that may arise, which of course will be on the man unless he's not a simp. And let's not forget that she can leave the man for whatever reason she deems convenient. When a woman has a child, there's no upside for you as a man coming in and taking care of that child because... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact. When the man gets in a relationship with you, he's not just getting in a relationship with you, he's going to have to take that child on at some point. So my point Fact. is, is that when he takes you on and that child, he's going to bear responsibility for that child as well. But the problem is that he's not going to have the same authority. He won't be able to discipline that child the way he wants because it's not his kid. So he has responsibility without authority. Responsibility without authority is slavery. So he ends up having to take care of that kid. Let's say y'all break up. Now he loses access to that kid, which he ended up developing a bond with, and he loses you. So it's going to hurt two, three times more. Despite these and other solid reasons, why the hell are single moms so romanticized and even promoted? It's very simple. It's part of the war on men and a government plan. 
As you guys know, men are demonized just for having preferences, and concepts like toxic masculinity are all over the internet and in the minds of NPCs. And from the government's perspective, this means they can make more people dependent on them, keep on indoctrinating the young generations, and even cause, as Myron said, more degenerates in society. Nothing is accidental. It's all well planned. So you're saying that you wouldn't be with a single mother that's a millionaire? It wouldn't be my first option, no. If I wanted to have a family and children? You said a millionaire wouldn't want to be with a single mother that's a millionaire. If he can go ahead and get a girl that doesn't have a child, he'll prefer that, yes. Men are very different than women because when a guy comes into a woman's relationship or a relationship with a woman and she has a child, he's going to be expected to take care of that child to a degree. That's just how it is. You don't just get with that girl, you get with that girl and that child. And here's the other thing you got to remember. If we break up and I build a bond with that child, I now lose you and the child. And I can't have any type of parental rights to that child. It's your biological child, not mine. I'm a stepfather, so I have no rights to that child. So I lose you, the child, alimony, house, 50%. So it's an L for me. It's not worth the risk. I'm gonna step up. Now women marry the state, but if the tax dollars are not enough, which is always the case, they go ahead and try to get a man who will take care of both her and her kids. Not the best option for you as a man. She can enjoy her single mom lifestyle and solve her problems as the strong and independent woman she is, especially if she's been the type to bash men just for being men. Stay strong guys, as always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Drop a comment and share it. See you in the next video guys. Till next time.